Hi everybody, welcome another Wednesday to the channel. In the video of today, I want to tell you about where to live in Germany, but focusing on cities. Um, I pretend on doing two more videos about this, focusing on villages and of metropolitan areas. So as I said, we are talking today about cities. Um, first of all, I want you to know that in Germany there are not a big population cores um, and just Berlin is over 3 million people. And Berlin is followed by another important cities like Hamburg, Munich and Köln, uh, which have in between 1 and 2 million people. There are also 26 more cities considered as big ones because they have more than 100,000 people. And afterwards there are 611 medium cities, which are between 20,000 and 100,000 people. And afterwards there are 2,539 cities considered small ones because they have less than 20,000 people. It is established um, a minimum of 100,000 people to consider a city a big one and it has to have more than 500,000 people to consider a main or an important city. In total there are 80 cities in Germany considered as big ones because they have more than 100,000 people and 13 of them have more than 500,000 and there are just 4 with more than 1 million people. The biggest one is Berlin with 3.3 million people, followed by 1.7 million people in Hamburg, 1.3 million people in Munich and 1 million in Köln. Between 2005 and 2011 there was um, positive migration growth um, thanks to all the people who came to live to the cities in Germany. But there is a difference between uh, people who are between at 18 and 30 because they prefer the big cities, the main ones that I told you about that, that have uh, more than 500,000 people and people between 30 and 65 they, uh, prefer the surroundings, the suburbs and cities with a bit less of population. Big enterprises are very very aware of this because they uh, focus a lot of uh, on attracting uh, young people because they are considered as, as very good consumers, they buy more than other people, they consume more than other people, so they are very important for uh, big enterprises. Also these enterprises uh, offer very good liberal opportunities uh, to young people mainly and also they have very very good possibilities in a private level. As I told you it's normal that uh, young people prefer bigger cities so the three that are always chosen above the rest of them are Berlin, Hamburg and Munich. There are other ways to classificate cities in Germany or cities in general and it's dependent on some standards. For example, the Worldwide Economic Institute in Hamburg has uh, established that the most the two most attractive cities in, in Germany are Frankfurt and Munich and they are followed by Bonn, Dusseldorf, Berlin and Köln. And to make the classification about the most um, attractive cities in Germany, they have to count with different standards like economic tendencies, level and education offer, innovation, innovation international migration and accessibility to the middle of the city. So why are Frankfurt and Munich the most attractive cities in, in Germany? Well, Frankfurt is the fin financial center in Germany and Munich is the technology leader. So for these cities, this means that um, they have the highest level of internationalization, uh, not just because of the high percentage of international students and workers, but also because of the very, very, very good communications. If you divide the city um, due to the cultural level, the one we need is Stuttgart. Because there, they are made and represented most of the cultural productions in the whole Germany, and is followed by Dresden and Munich. If you talk about the healthiest uh, cities, you have to count with some standards, like the weather, the contamination, social, cultural and sport offer, as well as the work offers and unemployment. It may seem weird but in this case the healthiest cities are medium or small ones such as Ulm, Erlangen and Heidelberg which have between 100,000 and 150,000 people. As you can see there are a lot of ways to divide and to classificate the cities in Germany. There are a lot of standards you can use, the healthiest, uh, the most technological, the most international and you can divide the cities in a lot of different standards so I'm going to leave you a link to a page um, in the description of this video and in that page you can put the standards you want to look for and there will be appear a list of cities which uh, fit those standards and the nice thing is that to rate the quality of living of the um, people in Germany they directly ask the people how happy they feel about some things of their cities like green spots, cultural and sport offers, their communications. So it turned out to be that the people who are most satisfied with their city is the people in Dresden and it's followed by Stuttgart, Munich and Hamburg. Afterwards they come Bonn and Dusseldorf, followed by Köln, Hanover and Leipzig. And in 10th place there's Frankfurt. 
So if you are thinking about moving to Germany to work or to just um, study or to just change the environment and come to live here to live a new experience, uh, look for the city that fits you the best. It depends on the standards you want, you are looking for. And another recommendation I give you is if you are thinking of moving to a city and, and you have like three in your mind, for example, just visit those cities before you move def definitely so you can and see how you feel in the city if you think that you are going to feed or if you just don't feel like you were going to feed there then you can just look for another one where you feel better just don't give up there are a lot of cities in germany bigger smaller whatever there are uh, cities for everyone and of course if you want to live the experience of living here in germany you are going to find a city that suits you in my case i chose berlin because uh, first of all, because it's the biggest one, so I really like big cities. That's just my opinion. I mean, I like big cities and I need to be in a big city. I cannot live in a village, for example. It's just, I get overwhelmed. And the second most important thing for me to move to Berlin is because I heard and I read very good things about the technical university here. And so I wanted to join it, so I came here to Berlin. Also, another thing is that Berlin is not an expensive city. Like, to leave, like, the rent and the um, food and stuff is not really expensive if you have a work you can also save some money but as i just say just look for a city that and that fits you that you feel comfy with and just enjoy it so i hope you really liked the, my video i i hope that it's useful for you i hope that you are looking to come to germany i really hope you find your place and as i always say if you really really like the video you can give me thumbs up and you can also which is very important for me you can also give me ideas in the comments and you can subscribe to my facebook page and send me messages there with ideas with questions or whatever you want to tell me so i wish you a nice day and we talk in the next one bye bye